Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a paper plate dog or cat. But today I'm just, I'm making a dog. Uh, you can hang this up on your wall or give it to a, for like a little friend, like a little girl that, you know, like your niece or something or, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to hang this up on my wall because I just want something really cute to go up on my wall. Besides Justin Bieber. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to need for this project. Is a paintbrush, a black or brown paint, white paint or googly eyes, red paint or like something for the nose, scissors, a paper plate or like one of these foam plates, that's what I have, and construction paper, and a black sharpie or a brown sharpie. Okay. Let's get started. First, take out of your construction paper, whatever color you're going to use for the spots, get that color of construction paper. I'm using black, so I cut out, I folded a sheet of paper and, um, I folded a sheet of paper, a black sheet of paper, and I drew the shape and I cut this out and then I have two. So yeah, these are the ears. So take your paper plate, cut it in half, now you do do these paper plate things at, in like kindergarten, but this is really fun, you know, I mean this is kind of childish, like I know I'm a child, but this is way childish, I think, but I'm just doing it for fun. Alright, trim it up. Now you should have two of these. I think this one's like skinnier. I don't know, but I'm using this one. Yeah, but... Oh yeah, and you're going to need a stapler and tacks and tape to hang up on the wall if you're hanging this up. Or glue. Stapler or glue. And tape or a tack if you're hanging this up on the wall. Okay, so what you're going to start by doing is taking your Sharpie and you're just basically going to draw like the spot. Alright, um, you're going to draw two spots like this. You're going to draw two spots where the eye should go, right here. And then draw some other ones around. Like that. Okay. So now, um, what you want to do? Oh, oh, oh. And up under the two things <clears throat> where the eyes are, I want to draw like the bear slash dog mouth. the dots. Alright, so you should have something like that. Now, <clears throat> you're going to take your black, wait, no, your white. Take your white
this is gonna be. Well, actually, the plate is like already white. Obviously, but if it isn't, you're gonna want to paint it. Or add googly eyes, whatever is best for you. My computer is going dead. Okay, well, there's no paint coming out, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Alright, let me hook up my computer. Okay, so add your googly eyes or whatever. Um, take your black. If you don't have googly eyes, take your black. Um, here, I'm going to use this little side plate that we cut off. Oh, yeah, when you're painting caps, like, when you're toothpaste and stuff, caps and paint are all gone, you can use a little cap as a cup for dolls. So... Like this. You don't want too much on the plate or wherever you're putting it because then it won't turn out right. Take your paintbrush and just dip it in there or whatever you're using. I'm using paintbrush. Um, Paint a little eye. If you're painting or drawing the eye, I'll make it as round as possible. And if you want it big or small, it depends on you. Alright, so... Like that. So now you're going to take your black and just paint all the little spots you've drawn. Now, if you think this is actually pathetic by painting, um... It's pretty fun to paint. And if you only squirt out a little bit, you're not wasting all your paint. And I've squirt out too much on my plate, so that kind of was wasting. You can even draw the same with Sharpie if you wanted. I just think it looks so cute like this. You're going to want it all the way black. Solid black. Duh, because it's going to be cuter. Like that. Like this. Yeah, you might want to put on like something, like an old shirt or something, if you accidentally get this on your clothes. Because paint sometimes 
it can be irritating to wash out. So, but craft at your own risk. And if you damage your shirt or pants or whatever, please don't blame it on Beaver Lover 353. Because I warned you. And um, when stapling, be careful also. Craft at your own risk at that too. You're not going to be blamed if you go to the hospital and you have a staple in you. So, like that. Alright, now. Wipe off your paintbrush. Do 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 do. And actually, I'm gonna get. That looks so cool. I'm gonna get a smaller one. Okay. Get your red for your nose color, or whatever you're using for your nose, and the paintbrush. And you're going to actually take your Sharpie <laughs> before you do this. And draw with no shape. I'm drawing heart. And just cover it in the paint. Alrighty. God, I'm so scared that I won't be able to get to the next part in this video. Okay. Whew. Put up your paintbrushes, or you can do that last. Whatever. Um, I'm just trying to do it quick here. Um. Okay, so, you're done with painting, and this is the last step, so yeah. Take your two little ears, I think it's just, I don't know, I think it's just so cute and adorable. Oh my god, it's so cute. Ah. Alright, so, get your stapler ready. Put the ears where you, where you want them, of course. And a staple it without messing it, messing the paint up, of course. Staple the ear, and I'm gonna staple that again to not secure. Okay, so now it's secure. Um, please watch part two.